is what we like to start off with. Kind of take the viewer behind the scenes a little bit. Tell them what we learned. Kind of some of the things that we can't really usually bring you in our broadcast coverage. Yeah. Stuff that we cover that matters and stuff that we quote unquote learn. So what did you learn this week? This week I learned Haley Van Lint. Mm -hmm. She is coming into her own. We're finally seeing the pure shooter that we saw at Louisville. She's comfortable. She's smarter with the basketball. She's taking good shots, not forcing it, and knocking down some big time shots as well. Everybody thinks it's easy playing the point guard position, switching from the two to the one, but it is not. I played <laughs> both positions. I know this is not, not going to be surprising it's to you. It's completely different. Yes, but I preferred playing the one, the point guard, because really? you're the general on the floor. Yes, I just, for some reason, I gravitated to that. I like to telling people where to go and what to do. <laughs> I know that's not surprising to oh, you. Oh, so, okay, there yeah, we go. Yeah. There it so, is. <laughs> that's the reason why. But it's just a different mindset, especially on the defensive end of the floor. But the past two ball games, Van Lith has combined for 44 points, seven assists, and just one turnover in 69 minutes of play. That is huge for LSU. It opens up the floor when she's hitting shots, puts more pressure on the defense. She's playing her best basketball at the right time, and you love to see it, especially with March here. All right. Yes. Here's, what, here's what I learned. Just take a deep breath. I'm mm -hmm. just trying not to get too fired up. Mm -hmm. No one can be trusted in college sports or anywhere. I Like, I'm... <laughs> I'm losing my mind. The NCAA last week saying no cookie cakes for recruits on visits, no photo, no photo shoots. Like, mm. I just, it's either like go like police college badminton or Quidditch or whatever else there is, <laughs> because this is still way over your head. Do I really care about cookie cakes? No, of course I not. Do. But, I love okay, it. There you go. So good. She's the one. But <laughs> this is the stupid minutia that they seem to waste their time on instead of big legitimate organization. But here's the problem, who do we trust? Yeah. Because the, the college powers that be now in college football, the Big Ten, the SEC, you see the commissioners there, can't seem to understand anything other than the bottom line and more, more money. They want a 14-team playoff now in college football. Not because they think college football is the sport that can crown number 14 as their national champion, no. It's because of greed. But that's everywhere now in, yeah. in, in our society. I saw online today on Twitter, actually, five guys, if you order a burger meal with fries and a drink, comes out to $24 after tax. Oh, my. So we need some good leadership, like everywhere, for the country, for the world, for our stupid Saturdays in the fall that are really, really important to us. And we're still not getting it from our leadership. So that's, I guess, what grinds my gears. Anyways, I see that. The Tigers, uh... Getting back to college sports. <laughs> <laughs> the stuff that makes us happy.